Hey everybody, it's Dr. Wiggy. I just wanted to check in with you guys after my first day in clinic over at Robin Hood Integrative Health. Uh, it was such a great day, you know, a really powerful day to really get in there and start practicing functional and, and integrative medicine and really start influencing people in a positive way. Um, and another thing that this is really going to be a great opportunity for is that I really want this to be an educational experience for myself and also for all my viewers. And what I'm going to be doing is taking a patient that I saw that day and presenting a learning point uh, for, for everyone to kind of learn from and to learn more about functional medicine and anti-aging medicine that type of thing. Uh, and the first uh, segment that I'm going to be doing today is really talking about what is the best way to test hormones uh, and follow their levels. Uh, and it really brings up the, the two arguments of whether saliva testing is better or whether blood testing is better. And just to tell you right up front, I think blood testing is, is the most accurate um, and going to have the least errors and it's going to be the best way to follow, follow patients. But let me just share why I think this is best. So I had a patient come in today. Uh, she's a 55-year-old female going through a lot of menopausal type of issues, hot flashes, uh, weight gain, and you know just not feeling herself. And she'd been to a lot of different practitioners. She'd been to her OB-GYN and some other alternative practitioners, uh, even a nutritionist who were trying to kind of balance her hormones. And they just couldn't get it right. You know, they tried different synthetics. They even tried bioidenticals, which I do give them credit for. But they weren't able to really take care of her symptoms. And the problem is that they just weren't able to uh, monitor and adjust medications as needed. And I think the problem is that they were trying to use saliva hormones when what you really need to be doing is, uh, is blood hormones. So to give an example of why I don't think saliva works well is because she brought in her lab results from, uh, from what someone uh, had sent her out to go get and they were just all over the place. You know, her progesterone was off the charts, her estrogen was elevated. You know, when we know that when a lady is menopausal, her estrogen and her progesterone levels, they're going to be, they're going to be bottomed out. She's not going to have any. And you really don't even need to test at a baseline. You know, I think it is useful uh, to give you kind of an idea of where they are. And, but what's really important is kind of see where they are when they're on hormones and, um, and are they at their optimal levels. Um, but this just really shows you that this lab test is, is not accurate. You know, there's no way that she could have progesterone and estrogen levels that are off the chart when she's not taking any hormones and we know that she's, she's menopausal. Um, so that just is one example of why I think blood testing is better than saliva testing because we really do not get these erroneous lab results that you can see with saliva testing. You know, this is a controversial subject and a lot of patients and a lot of uh, doctors will probably argue that you know, saliva testing is better, but I can just tell you from my experience and from what I've seen is that there's way too many errors that come with saliva and that blood testing is most reliable. So I hope this was helpful and be well.